Before we start, this is the asset that I use for this tutorial, link is in the description. I'm going to set up my scene first. Now first we need to install a universal render pipeline or URP, to do that go to Windows, Package Manager, and search for Universal RP, then install it. After you install URP, go to your project, right click, Create, Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, Pipeline Asset. I will keep the name, rename it if you want to, just make sure you remember it. Then delete this, because we do not need it. But instead we are going to create, a 2D renderer. Now click your URP asset, click on the little circle button, and choose 2D renderer. Next check HDR, under quality. Last thing we need to do is, go to edit, project settings, graphics, your URP asset. And now we can create our shader. Right click, create, shader, 2D renderer, shader unlit. You can also use shader lit, if you want your fog to be affected by lights. I will name it fog, double click to open the shader. First create a texture 2D, we are not going to use this but shader graph requires one. Spacebar and search, time. Click on the small green circle, and drag it, release, and search for multiply node. We are going to multiply it to a vector too, because we want to control both horizontal and vertical movement of our fog. Now we want this node to be edited outside our shader, so we are going to convert it into a property. I will rename it to fog speed. Put a default value. Next we need a tiling and offset node. We need this to be able to scroll our noise. And now create a sample noise node. We also want to control our noise scale. So we are going to create a property for it. Name it fog size.
the last thing we need is to be able to change the color of our fog, so we need to multiply our sample noise to a color node. We also have to convert it into a property. Change mode to HDR, this enable us to control the intensity of our fog, it simply gives glow to our fog. Now we just need to create a material, go to your fog shader, right click on it, create, material. I will name it fog underscore mat. Make sure that it's using the fog shader that we just created. Now create a sprite. Use a plain sprite, this is not included to the 2D jungle asset, just create one on paint or any photo editor, or search color white on Google. Change the order layer make sure it's above your background and resize it the way you want. Now assign the fog material we created. Now R is working. If this is good enough for you then you're done. but I will show you how to add more layer if you want. It's really easy all you need is copy and paste the nodes. Next we want to control the second layer independently, so we are going to create a new speed, size, and color property. And now all you need to do is play around with the values. Thank you for watching, hope this helps.